Roots Rock Reggae. From, from the culture of the great king of reggae music, Mr. Robert Mr. Marley. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes Mr. Steve Marley. But I'm here today. You are here today. And I'll be here tomorrow. Wonder, so. Wonderful. So yes. who are you looking for? I want to see Stephen Marley, Marley and I want to see Jay Book. And That's today, who are you looking forward to seeing? Um, today, um, Revolution. Revolution. I've never seen them in concert. Yes. Marley. I like I'm ready. You like Stephen Marley too? Yes, yes wonderful, Mar wonderful. Always a Marley. Always a Marley. Okay, so today they are looking forward for Revolution and Stephen Marley. Growing up in Zimbabwe, we listened to Bob Marley's music. We also listened to Ziggy and Stephen Marley's music. All Zimbabweans appreciate what Bob Marley did for Zimbabwe and they will forever appreciate. I have been to Jamaica several times and have visited the Nine Mile. The Nine Mile is the place where Bob Marley was born and it is also his resting place. It is and will always be the highlight of my Jamaican experience. I also visited the Bob Marley Museum and in the museum they have a poster from 1980 that was given to Bob Marley by President Robert Mugabe that says Zimbabwe welcomes you and also some newspaper articles. At that point it hit me realizing the impact and the bond that Bob Marley had with Zimbabwe and with Zimbabwe's liberation. I have attended Stephen Marley's performances many times. We've watched him in Council Bluffs, Iowa in 2011. In 2014 and 2015, we watched him perform at the Nine Mile Festival. 2015, he was alongside Damien Marley, Taras Riley and Morgan Heritage on the Catch a Fire Tour. And in 2016, we watched him in Lincoln, Nebraska, 2017, on Welcome to Jamro Cruise, and 2018 at the Cali Roots Festival. I had an opportunity to sit down with Stephen Marley, and I really had interest in understanding what his feelings were as a child when he was right there with his father helping Zimbabwe and celebrating the independence of Zimbabwe. Coming up next, it is an amazing reggae artist, great songwriter, great producer, and really they call him a reggae genius. Maybe he doesn't know that, but that's what people call him. It is Stephen Marley, the son of the reggae legend, Bob Marley, he is coming up next. This is Venetia Wheeler, the host on Omaha Reggae Vibes. I'm right here at the Cali Roots, ninth annual. We just had an amazing show from Stephen Marley. Greetings, Stephen Marley. All right, good. Good, how was the show and how did you feel about the vibes today? Nice vibes. Nice vibes? Okay, wonderful. I want to just know a little bit more about Stephen Marley. I know you started music at a very young age and you went to Zimbabwe with your father and with Ziggy Marley way back in 1980. Well, you are from Zimbabwe? Yes, I'm from Zimbabwe. Ah. But I want to know how was it for you so young wow. on that stage well, and performing? Yeah, Zimbabwe definitely was a very defining moment Yes, for me. Mm -hmm. And my and my brother as well, I, I know. Because right. we, we were both there right. experiencing the movement at the same time. Yes. Right? And I must say it is it is in Zimbabwe, it is that experience right. that let me understood right. the power of music. Yes. You know, you know? Yes. And, and words and you know, the responsibility right. that, that, that comes with Yes. This podium, this right. platform, right. you know, it was that concert, that yes. being there with, with my father. Right. So, you know, it, it's a very significant show, time. Yes. Yeah, and yes. I also, my birthday, because yes. the concert was what, the 18th? The 18th, yes. And, and the 19th was something, right? Like was the celebration. Yes. And, and then my birthday was the 20th. Right. So did you get to experience your birthday in Zimbabwe? Yeah, or you were coming back? No, Zimbabwe. We were there for a week. For a week? After okay. the show. Okay. Oh, wonderful. So yeah. at least you can yeah. say you had an experience of a birthday yeah, in Zimbabwe. Very, very significant. And Right. Well, we you know, definitely we love the people. Of it. We love you. Okay, wonderful, right. wonderful. And Zimbabwe loves you too. Thank you. You are welcome. And then also, so at that age, is that when you realized that you really wanted to do music? I mean, I music is inside of me, like how, like like how I am a man. Right. Right. It wasn't by choice. I was born this way. Yes. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I am a man. Yes. Right. So same way, music. We never choose to do music. Uh huh. It is in it is a part of it. it's in our DNA. Right. Right. So it wasn't the choice or it wasn't then that I knew that I wanted to do music. Yes. We, we were doing music. As as children, my father wrote our first song. 
Oh yeah. 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 In in 1979. Melody 79. Right. Melody makers, me, Ziggy, right. Sidella, Sharon. Yes. Right. Yes. So we always music was always a part of us. It it is then that I knew the impact. Right. That music had. Right. You know what I mean? Because right. I I saw the British flag go down. Go down in the when play come on. Go up. up. Yes. And the gang <laughs> said, every man have a right to decide this. Yes. Oh, I was there like this, you know? Like this is an experience. As I was there. Why? Yeah, I was eight years old. Right. 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 So, but it's very significant. Okay. You know, it was very significant for us to see, yo, this is what this music and this message is so powerful, you know? That yes. It is a part of liberating a country, a right. people. Right. Yeah. So your earlier experiences being with your father doing mm -hmm. music mm -hmm. and with your mom as well, yeah. which is an amazing, yes. yeah. you know, did vocals for your father <laughs> and then yeah. working with Ziggy. Yeah. Did this, that shape you as an artist? You know, like helping groom you? Shape me as a person. Yeah, yes. yeah as an artist. You know, as an artist, very, very much so because the experience of performing with my brothers and sisters and right. and growing with them as well, definitely as an artist, but as a person. You know, as the integrity, as the discipline that comes with success and, and, and being, you know? Yes. Right. That is what we learn as, as more than for say, well, as an artist. Because I am more than an artist. Yes. You know? I, I'm a freedom fighter. Right. But his music, is the music is my, well, my thing. Your thing <laughs> to use is the platform yes. you use mm, yes. to spread that message yes. that you like to spread. Yes. So people might not know that you play more than just a guitar. You play several instruments. Yeah, yeah. Can you share what else did you do? You play. I will play anything that you put in my hands, uh -huh. and give me a more. I will play anything. So I don't know what is it that I can't play. Yes, but you can play pretty much everything. Yeah. Yes. So wonderful. So you guys have been doing like amazing. Of course, welcome to Jam Rock, which is very successful. Mm -hmm. And then you did a Catch a Fire tour in 2015. Are you guys gonna do something similar to that ever again? Yeah, man. Yes. Soon. Soon you'll be doing yeah. it. And then you did the Kaya Festival, which you guys yeah. started last year in yeah. Miami, and this yeah. year it moved to California. Yeah. And how did you feel it was this year? It was great. It was great. Were you there? I wanted to come, but I had a lot of oh, friends who were there. Oh, they said it was so successful. You didn't, you didn't, oh, it break my heart. I, <laughs> but you know what though? I was on Jamro Cruise. Okay, okay. Yes, so you it was. Up, you make up for it. Yes, I made up for and I'm booked for Jamro Cruise this year, so <laughs> I am a reggae supporter. <laughs> and definitely uh, next year we hope to make it at the Kaya Festival. Nice, Are you going to have it? Nice. Yes, in Banatina again? Yeah, man. Yes, because everyone Jamming. said it was really successful and yeah. it was really good and the vibes were Thank you. great. That's Thank what you. people said. Thank you. So, and then you're going to be on tour coming up with yeah. Revolution and Matiau? Uh, no. Right now? Yeah. So, what do you tell your fans like to expect from Stephen Mali? Rastaman Vibration. Rastaman Vibration? Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. That's great. So, any new work coming up, album? Um, well, um, Ziggy's album is out now. Yes, yep, I know yeah. that. I got that one. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yes, very, very good album. It's yes. my favorite yes. music right now. Yes, you know? and thing Julian is gearing up. Julian uh -huh. just put out a single. Okay, and thing Julian is gearing up. Right, you know, a lot of good things coming up. You know, um, Kabaka Pyramid. Uh, yes, I got that one too. Junior Gang. Contraband. Were, you yeah. know what I mean? And thing yes. So a lot of a lot of exciting stuff going on for us now. Joseph. Wonderful. Joe Mercer, Joe Mercer. Mm -hmm. yeah. yes. and yes. Johan Yes, yes. Up. Yeah, I see your son. <laughs> yeah, I've you not know, experienced like, uh, of course, Joe Mercer Mali several times in Nebraska, you know, when he came up and when you guys had him in Kansas. But of course, he does an amazing job. And then Johan, we saw him on the cruise. He's doing good work. Just continue yeah. doing the vibes. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm a Harega Vibes. This was Stephen Mali. He did an amazing show, epic performance. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. As you heard, we were just talking to Stephen Mali, an amazing reggae artist. He is a songwriter and producer. So many talents he possesses. And we were trying to highlight him to 
today to kind of show you more about him that people don't always talk about. We wanted you to know the roots. We wanted you to know where he really he came from, how he got into this music. That's what we we're trying to highlight today. If we talked about all his music, his albums, all the work that he has done, it would have taken us days to talk about him because really he has been in this industry for a very long time. As you heard, the new music that Stephen Mali is enjoying right now, it is Ziggy Mali's new album that was released on May 18th. It is called Rebellion Rises. And also, Junior Gong worked on a new album for Kabaka Pyramid that was released on May 25th. It's called Contraband. That is also another wicked album. And Julian Mali released his single, and I think he has upcoming music. And Joe Mesa Mali is also working on his album and Johan Mali so really there is a lot of new music coming and the Malis have their hands full just watch the Ghetto Youth International for the new music that they are producing really always amazing work from them